Coming to you live from Johannesburg, this is ANCA. I'm Shahan Ramkisoon. Thanks for joining us. Our top story, family, friends and the legal team for Cyril Carabas, South African doctor re re detained rather in the United Arab Emirates, have renewed hope that he's one step closer to coming home. His bail money has been returned, but the professor still does not have his passport. He's been in the UAE since August last year. Carabas was sentenced in absentia 10 years ago for the death of a young cancer patient. He had not been aware of the conviction until his arrest while in transit from the UK. Last month, Carabas was cleared of all charges, but his return to South Africa has been delayed because he's still listed as a fugitive on that country's database. We're now joined live from our Cape Town studios by Professor Cyril Carabas' lawyer, Michael Bagram. Thanks so much for your time, sir. Can you just tell us what's the latest? The money's been given back, but when will he return? Yeah, thank you. I've just spoken to him uh, telephonically. I'm sitting in Cape Town. Um, he, unfortunately, is still sitting there. He's, he's still almost incarcerated in the country in Abu Dhabi. He can't come back um, at all until he gets that passport. It's got to be properly endorsed. Uh, he needs to have his travel documents. Uh, many people are emailing us and saying, well, why doesn't the South African government give him a temporary passport or travel documents? And that's not the point. The point is he's got to have his old passport back, which will be properly endorsed, allowing him to leave the country. Otherwise, he's going to get rearrested again in Abu Dhabi. Uh, yesterday, an interesting turn of events, we hadn't asked for the bail money and it was returned to us, um, which obviously indicates to us that they don't expect to keep us there much longer. We were hoping this morning to get that passport with the proper endorsements, uh, but no such luck. Uh, he is going in every day and hopefully we're going to have some results. Um, our consul in Abu Dhabi, uh, um, uh, Mr. Fenter, uh, Farnas Fenter, accompanies him. He, I know Mr. Fender is trying his utmost to see what the holdup is, why it hasn't been given back to him, but it appears to be purely administrative. There's nothing legal that can be done at this point. Mm -hmm. We are hoping to get him back. Um, when I spoke to him, he was feeling fine. He's obviously very irritable. Um, he's been there for nine months now. Um, it's enough. He wants to come home. So what seems to be the problem with the passport? Have you spoken to authorities about why it hasn't been returned or are you just waiting for them to come back to you with that? Well, we have spoken to the authorities. I have spoken to them on a few occasions. There seems to be no problem other than we've got to wait in a queue. Um, notoriously, anywhere in the world, if you want to get administrative documents put together, uh, it goes from one office to the next. Over here, it's got to be cleared in a whole lot of offices. The passport is being held at the old Watabi prison where Professor Karibus was held in the first place. Uh, we, had a, we had, in the first case, we had thought that the passport was in fact at the courts and we had applied there and filled in all the paperwork at the courts only to find out that we were in the wrong place and that we should have been applying at the prison. Do you think this is a deliberate delay? I don't, I don't think so. I, I think if you try to get a passport out of Pretoria, you might have similar problems. So what's his family saying about this? I mean, they've been waiting now for a long time, and so has he. Are they anxious? How do they feel? Uh, everyone's very anxious. Um, his wife, Jennifer, is very, very anxious. She's depressed about it. Uh, that The children are resigned to the fact that we're going to have to wait. <laughs> Just tell us a little bit more about him. When you spoke to him earlier on today, you know, what's he sounding like? You said irritable as one word to describe it. What else did he say? Well, he is irritable. Um, he's a little bit short-tempered, um, but I'm happy if he takes out that temper on me. Um, but in terms of health, he's, he's feeling much better today. At least we know where the passport is. At least we are dealing with one official, and we are getting proper feedback from this official as to what exactly has to take place. Okay, thanks very much. That was Michael Bagram, a Professor Cyril Carabas' lawyer, speaking to us from our Cape Town studios. News that moves. ENCA.com.